Hi, this is Albert from PHP Fox. Today, I'm gonna take you on a tour to the admin CP of PHP Fox version 4.6.0. In order to log into your admin CP, just click this arrow next to your image, then click admin CP. Input your admin email and password, then login. The admin CP is the backend of your PHP Fox site. This is the place where you basically manage everything within your site. Admin CP consists of 9 main menus including Alerts, Dashboard, Apps, Globalization, Appearance, Members, Settings, Maintenance, and Logout. We will all go and tackle each of these menus one by one later on. When you log into the admin CP of your site, the first thing you can see by default is the dashboard. The dashboard is a place where you can see the updates within your site. It includes all-time statistics block, corporate news and updates, active admins, latest admin logins, admin CP notes, and site statistics. The all-time statistics is the block where you can see the updated real-time data on your site. You can see here the updated number of blogs created, total number of events, uploaded videos, etc. If you want to view all the data in details, just click view more and it will redirect you to the table of the complete list of your site statistics. You can also integrate news and updates from your company in this specific block. In our case, we decided to integrate all the updated blog posts of our company in the corporate news and updates blog. The active admins. If you have more than one admins currently logged into your site, you can see them all in the active admins block. Latest admin logins. In this block, you can see all the admins who just recently logged into your site. Admin CP notes. This is the perfect spot to put down your notes and other to-do list. Site Statistics Site Statistics is the block where you can see how many members are currently online. The number of the posted blogs today, comments, numbers of uploaded photos, etc. Now let's go to Alerts. Alerts is like a notification feature in the admin CP. This is one of the new features of PHP Fox 4.6.0. Admins will be notified here if there are some pending items like for example uploaded videos to be approved. Next is the apps. The apps menu is a place where you can find all the apps installed on your site. If you have any apps installed from third-party experts, you can also see them here. This is also the place to manage apps. You can manage app by clicking the app itself. For example, you want to manage your marketplace app. Just click on it and you can see various options to manage this app. You can manage its categories, user group settings, etc. We'll go through this part later on. You can use this powerful search tool if you want to search for a specific app. This table displays the name of the app, the version installed, the latest or the current version available so this way you can check if you are using the most updated version of the app it is advisable to update all the apps to the latest version all the time to prevent any issues the table also shows the author of the app meaning if the app belongs to a third party it will show the name of the third party vendor on this field in this case the author name is PHP Fox since this is a default app of PHP Fox. There is also a toggle button to activate or deactivate the app. You can use this toggle button to put the app online or offline. You can also view some of the featured apps down below. You can easily purchase an app that you think might helpful to your site by just clicking on it. Just click the get it button, purchase, download and install. This app will be listed in your purchased history. By clicking the purchased history tab, it will display all the apps you purchased from the PHP Fox store. 
If you want to download and install more apps, you can just go and click the Find More Apps button and it will redirect you to the PHP Fox Store and easily purchase an app that you like. If you want to uninstall the app, just simply click this arrow down and uninstall the app. Manage App If you want to manage any app, just simply click the Marketplace, for example, and it will redirect you to the setting of that specific app. Manage Categories You can manage categories of this app, toggle on and off to activate or deactivate the category. You can also drag them to rearrange categories. If you want to add a new category, just simply click the New Category tab and add the name of that category you'd like to add. Just click Submit when done. The User Group settings allows you to manage the app settings per user group. You can just select a user group to manage and set the permission of that user group for that specific app. For example, when selecting the registered user means all the members under this user group will only have a permission to do these settings. They can edit their own marketplace but they can't delete all the listing and so on. Settings A settings is a place on where and how you want your app to appear on your site. You can select the pagination style input the expiration date and some other settings and now let's go to globalization the globalization is a place where you can manage the languages phrases countries currencies and payment gateways on your site languages is the place where you can see the installed languages on your site it has english language set by default but you can add and install as many languages as you like there are some available language packs developed by third-party experts that you can download from the PHP Fox Store. In order to download, just go to Find More Language Packs tab and search for the language you want to install. If you cannot find your desired language, you can also create a language pack on your own. Our language creator supports RTL text direction, so you can just select the necessary option when creating a language pack. Phrases. This section is a place to manage language phrases. You can use the powerful search filter to find specific phrase and make necessary edits. You can also create a new phrase and add to the list. Countries. It displays all the supported countries on your site. You can easily add new country or import from your database. Just simply click the arrow if you want to make some edit to each country. Currencies. Currencies displays different currency on your site. You can easily add new currency and choose the default one. You can also toggle to activate or deactivate that specific currency on your account. Payment Gateways. By default, PHP Fox supports PayPal as a payment gateway. But you can add more payment gateways as you like by purchasing in the store or by doing some customization and integration to your site. Now let's go to appearance. Appearance basically talks about the look of your site. It includes themes, pages, menus, and blocks. By default, PHP Fox 4.6.0 uses material template, but you can still use the bootstrap template whenever you want. On this page, you can see these two templates by PHP Fox and the featured themes by third-party vendors. You can either create a new theme on your own or find more themes available in the PHP Fox store. Pages. This is the static page on your site. You can add a static page such as your company's policy, terms, etc. Creating a static page supports the HTML text editor. Menus. The menu manager is a place where you can configure your main and footer menus. You can simply toggle the button to activate and deactivate that specific menu. You can also easily add menu if you need more. Blocks Blocks are simply the containers on your website that hold the content or showcase features, such as featured users, recent logins, birthdays, etc. Now let's go to members. This is the place where you can view and manage all the members on your site. 
Browse Users. You can use the powerful search tool to find a user on your site. You can also edit any user by clicking the arrow button. Or tick the checkbox if you want to ban, delete, or resend verification email to that specific user. Manage User Groups. By default, PHP Fox comes with four different user groups the administrator, registered users, guest, and staff. These user groups have their own set of permissions. You can view and edit their permissions by just going into each user group. Aside from the default user groups, you can also create a custom user group and set custom permission on this group. The user group settings. This section is the place to manage all the settings of the user group per app. Just select the specific app that you would like to configure and select the group. Subscription. One way to monetize your site is through subscription. In this section, you can easily create different subscription packages on your site. You can easily activate or deactivate the subscription. You can also require the user to choose the subscription package before they become a member of your site. Promotion. This is one way to encourage your members to do more activities on your site. Right now, I don't have any promotion here, but if you want to have one, you can just easily click this Create a Promotion button. Select the user group, input activity points, days registered, and select the rule to check the promotion. Your members under the user group selected needs to achieve your chosen rule in order to be promoted. Once they've got promoted, they will be automatically moved to this higher level of user group. Custom fields. This is like a text box where a user can input anything about themselves or whatever they want to put in their profiles. This option allows your members to share information about themselves or their interests. You can create as many custom fields that you like by clicking on the Create a Custom Field button. Manage Settings Basically, all the settings about managing your members. There are some settings to allow public registration, user login method, enable relationships, activity points, and many more. Just make sure to click Save Changes button after making any changes. Relationship statuses. Relationship statuses is the place to input different relationship status. You can set or create some relationship status like is single, is engaged, and many more. You can tick the confirmation checkbox if you want the user to confirm the relationship status request before it will be published on their profiles. Inactive members. You can view the inactive members on this page and when was the last time they logged in. You can also send mails to all the inactive members by clicking this button. Cancelled members. This is the section where you can view all the members who cancelled their accounts. It also shows the reasons why they cancelled their accounts. You can manage cancellation options on this tab. Easily drag them up and down to rearrange or toggle button to activate and deactivate that option. You can also add or edit cancellation options. Settings. Basically, setting function is the place where you can manage all the settings on your site. From the security, URL, mail servers, registration, etc. Let's take a look at some of the settings. Mail server. This is where you set up your mail. You can set up the name, email, signature, etc. You just need to make sure to have your mail server for this one to work. We don't recommend you to use server mail for your site emails. Instead, you should consider using the SendGrid or SparkPost or some other transactional mail service. Don't worry, we have the step-by-step -step tutorial in our documentation center for this one. SSL SSL is for security purposes. If you want to secure your site, you can turn this setting on. Site settings. Site settings is basically the page where you can find all the settings about your site. You can set the site name in here. 
you can turn on and off the full Ajax mode in here, enable the two-step verification, enable the friends-only community, and many more. Spam assistance. This is a setting to prevent your site from spammers or system automated members. Timestamps. You can select the default time zone and some other time settings in here. Toggle site. Toggle site is just simply turning your site to online or offline mode. You might want to put your site offline when you are in the development mode. As you can see, you can enable the public registration by turning on this option. You can also enable multi-step registration, verify email to sign up, and some other registration settings. Anti-spam questions. You can easily add anti-spam questions in this section. Cancellation option. If your users wish to cancel their account, they can choose the reason why they want to cancel their account so you'd be able to identify which part of your site needs to be improved. You can also create and add new options if you want. License key. Of course, this is where you can find your license information. Next is the maintenance. This one is about your site's maintenance. Whenever you change something or done something new to your site, it is advisable to always clear the cache for the changes to take effect. Site statistics. This is where you can monitor the actual data or the average on your site, just like the all-time statistics I mentioned earlier. Reported items. This is the place where all the reported items are being displayed. And some other settings. And last but not the least, the lagout. So, that's it for now. Thank you for watching.